안녕하세요, 둘 모음. 저는 유. Today I will show you my top 10 picks for summer must-haves. As you might know, Japanese summers are seriously brutal. It's so hot and humid all the time, from June all the way till end of September. So sometimes you need a little bit help getting through the summer. All these items are from Tokyo Hands. If you don't know what Tokyo Hands is, it's actually a giant multi-level store that has basically everything you would want to buy. And sometimes it can get a little bit overwhelming just because there are so many things to buy in there and they're all great. So I decided to do a two-part Tokyo Hands video. In this video, I'll show you my summer top 10 and then in the next one, I will show you my general top 10. All right, let's get started. The first item I would recommend getting is a foldable umbrella. So this umbrella right here actually works for both the sun and the rain. Japanese summers are very hot and humid, but it's also really rainy. And sometimes the rain would just start out of nowhere. And it's good to be prepared to have one of these in your purse. These are super, super light. You can either put this in your purse or you can use this little strap and put on your bag. It's really important to protect your skin in the summer because it can cause skin cancer, hyperpigmentation, sunburn, and all that stuff. You will see a lot of people in Japan carry umbrellas in the summer because not only does it protect you from the sun, it also helps you stay cool. And plus, these are so small and light to carry with you. There are different sizes and patterns to choose from. I recommend getting the darker colors because they usually have better UV protection. You can find little tags that are attached to the umbrella that says the percentage of UV ray it can protect you from. The next item I recommend you buying is a fan. There are different sizes and different patterns. This one is actually a mini size and what's special about this one is that when you buy it, it actually comes with a little envelope and you can write a message on the back of the fan put in the envelope and mail it as a letter or a gift to somebody. So instead of mailing postcards to your friends and family, maybe get them one of these because it's so much more useful. If you're just getting one for yourself, you can use it while you're traveling here in the summer and bring home as a great souvenir. The third item I would recommend is a thermos cup. So this one I have is from Tiger. There are three major brands in Japan that make great quality ones. One is Thermos, which is probably the most well-known brand. One is Tiger, like the one I have, and also Zoji Rushi, which is also really popular. These are really convenient, not just for the summer, but also for the winter, because they can keep your drink cool or hot for over six hours. And in the summer, drinks can turn warm really quickly. So it's really nice when you can have an ice cold drink with you at all times in the summer. These are really light and slim. They also have a little opening on top so you can can drink hot drink without burning yourself. These are also really good for travel because you can just empty them when you go to the airport and fill them up at water fountains to save you some money on water bottles. The next few items are clothing items that I think are really innovative and I've never seen before I moved to Japan. This one is a cooling arm cover. These can not only keep you cool, but also protect you from the sun. As you can see here, it says 99% UV cut. The material is really soft and feel cool to the touch. The ones that I have here are extra long ones that can go all the way almost to your shoulder. But you can also get short ones that only cover your forearm or only your hands and things like that. I actually find this super useful for driving if you're in a car. Sometimes the sun can just get to your arm and even if you have sunscreen on, it just gets really hot and you may still get sunburned. At Tokyo Hands, they have a whole section of cooling clothing items and you will see many of these cooling towels that you're supposed to wear around the neck. They have many different patterns. You can put them in cold water and put them on your skin or on your neck and it'll help you stay cool. But this one that I found, I thought it was so cute because it's a little necktie and they sell different patterns of these as well. And they even have some that are made of organic cotton. But these are super slim and they have a little section right here that are slightly thicker than the ends because you can also put this in cold water 
and put this around your neck. The material actually feel cool to the touch, so you don't have to use water if you don't want to. But if you put in water, it will stay cool for many more hours. They're so easy to use and really convenient to bring with you. So if you're in the heat for a long time, this is a great little gadget to cool you down. Plus, I think it's just a little fun and cute accessory for your outfit. I also found a bunch of UV protection clothing items. For example, this one is just a very simple scarf. You can actually wear this many different ways, but usually I just wear it around my neck as a little scarf. And the material is really, really soft and it's very cool to the touch. Plus, you can just keep this in your purse since outside might be really hot, so you can use this to cool you down. But once you get into an air-conditioned room, it can get quite cold. So you can actually use this as a cover-up. It also offers UV protection, so there are many different ways to use this and it's super light. You can easily bring it with you anywhere and it's very convenient. You can also find many UV protection items like masks and scarves. Every little bit of UV protection helps and I think Japanese people, especially Japanese women, take it very seriously because they always want to have really bright and healthy skin. So it's very helpful to have all these little gadgets so you can wear something cute but also get UV protection. So in the summer, we all like to have ice cream and shaved ice and things like that. There are actually many different types of shaved ice machines. And I know rolled ice cream is really trendy these days. They actually sell something where you can make rolled ice cream at home. But I found this thing called Happy Mix. So what you're supposed to do is put this in the freezer for over 10 hours. And then once you take it out, you can pour in any sort of liquid like water, juice, chocolate milk, anything you can possibly want and pour it inside and mix with a spoon and after a little bit it will turn into shaved ice or ice cream. So it's really handy if you want a little treat in the summer and plus it's just really fun to do. You might know that there are a lot of insects and mosquitoes in the summer in Japan. I was actually so spoiled in California because even though California is pretty hot in summer as well, there are almost never mosquitoes. But in Japan, you do have to be careful. They sell a lot of bug repellent sprays and things like that. But I always forget to put those on. So I found this little hair tie slash bracelet thing. So you can wear this as an accessory or a hairband, but it can also keep you away from mosquitoes. They also have many colorful rubber bracelet type. So make sure to check those out as well. I also recommend getting some UV gadgets. I already recommended some clothing items, but there are also small things that make a big difference in the summer. For example, this bracelet I'm wearing, I really like the design and I think it looks really cute, but actually this is a UV check bracelet. So this little white pearl right here can detect UV rays and it will change color depending on how intense the sun is. So of course you still need to put on other things to actually protect yourself from the sun, but I always forget sunscreen myself. So this gadget will tell you how intense the sun is and remind you to put on sunscreen. I also found these bands. We all like wearing hats in the summer, but when it's really hot and humid, it can get really gross and sweaty. So you can put this band on the inside of your hat and it's supposed to absorb sweat, so it keeps your head dry and cool, so it doesn't get all gross in your hat. The last item I would recommend is some skin whitening product. In the summer, we can get a lot of hyperpigmentation and because the weather is so humid and hot, our pores can get plugged really easily so you can get more acne and also your skin may not be as smooth. So in the summer, it's really useful to use these skin whitening product, not to lighten your skin literally, but it helps a lot with hyperpigmentation or if you have any acne scars, it will lighten them and also brighten your skin in general. So this one is called Milano CC. This is just a vitamin C serum. It comes out clear and it feels really, really light on the skin and it's very effective with hyperpigmentation. I actually don't recommend you use this all over your skin. Just dot it on the hyperpigmentation spots that you have and make sure you use it regularly and you will see lots of improvements. If you're looking for some options, I also recommend this White Essence, which is also a whitening serum that's really, really popular. They also sell a mask that's rated number one product in Japan. 
and also Haba, it's a brand that's known for skin whitening products. Keep in mind, even though they look very small, you can actually use them for a long time because a little goes a long way. So make sure to pick one of these kits up if you see them in the store. I hope you liked my summer must-have top 10 from Tokyo Hands. Make sure to stay tuned for part 2 because I will share a lot of great general items that you will find at the store. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything from me in the future and I'll see you next time. Bye!